Hello, Thrifty Tech Teacher here. Um, wanted to talk you through uh, the, the Google Play Store and why I put the Google Play Store on my uh, Kindle Fire. Uh, the Amazon App Store is um, good, not great. Um, uh, Amazon's got some catch up to do in terms of um, apps and availability of apps or maybe aren't as many developers. Um, there, it's not to say there aren't any good apps, but just I find there are less options in many cases. And so I have, um, I'll maybe share something in the future about how uh, the best way to find good apps uh, for devices. Um, but what I want to show you is this. I actually uh, downloaded the Google Play Store. Um, and um, I found uh, that because these Kindle Fires run um, actually a, a, a Amazon's version of an Android operating system, um, it can run Google Play. And so if we go into Google Play, um, it's a similar type of experience where you can look for different uh, different games and different apps, but a much, much bigger selection. Um, and instead of having maybe three options for time-telling apps on, um, on Amazon's App Store, we might come here and find hundreds of options. Um, and, and the reason for that is this. So I, it's um, if, if we look over uh, the apps that I have here, these all up here, these are all apps that I got through the Amazon um, App Store. Um, but if we go down here a little bit, you'll see some other ones that I've gotten. Um, Google Chrome, I really like using Google Chrome as, uh, as a browser. Some of these uh, Google applications, they're quite good. Just certain games uh, and things like that. Uh, Kahoot, which we use quite a bit in the classroom. There's not a way to download Kahoot. So, um, and it is much nicer to use an app than it is to send them to the browser. So we see some examples here. One thing I wanna point out here is this Home. Um, this allows you to, this Google Home app will allow you to project the screen of this, similar to how you can project a, uh, an iPad to an Apple TV so your whole class can see the screen. If you have a, um, a Chromecast, which is a little kind of puck uh, that plugs into your projector or into your TV, it will allow you to project the screen. And it really, other than... Um, putting this under a document camera. It's really the only way I found to be able to project the screen of a Kindle Fire. So that might be something you think about as well. But this app, Home, and a lot of these other apps just aren't available through the App Store. So what you have to do is you have to download the Google Play Store. Um, I found a video uh, that I'm going to just share in the comments below. Um, I could make a video, but it wouldn't be nearly as good as the gentleman who made uh, made that. And it's a little wonky uh, making your way through a variety of steps and it feels a little ridiculous. Um, but in the end, um, it, it, you end up with a great app um, uh, app ecosystem that you can you can work with and um, it really does multiply the value of, of these uh, little ta tablets having a better selection of, um, of apps. And if you find yourself wondering, man, oh man, how am I gonna make it through all of these steps? Oh, there's probably about, I don't know, 15 of them. Um, you can uh, just take heart in the fact that you didn't have to do it 12 times uh, like I did. So if you have any questions, uh, post them below. I will, um, I'm sure, share more uh, about apps and, and what apps I, I'm putting on these devices in the, um, in the weeks ahead. Thanks.